I think I enjoyed Invisible Ghost. It's one of those films where I kind of like watching it because I like the fact that it was released in the 40s. It's got that kind of nostalgic feel to it for a time when horror and gritty films were a lot more simple and a lot more slow paced as well. It's, it's quite an interesting thing to have a film that's quite horrific in, in the horror sense, but that's also quite gentle and mellow. And a lot of classic films were like that, of course, and I really enjoy that aspect of it. But with regards to how well crafted the narrative or the rate at which they gave us new information, it maybe wasn't perfect. This was released in 1941, directed by Joseph H. Lewis, and stars the brilliant Bella Lugosi. And Lugosi plays a character called Dr. Charles Kessler, and he lives alone with his daughter, uh, his wife has has left him and all of a sudden these murders begin to take place in the home and it's all about trying to work out who the murderer is and why these murders are being committed. I feel like it gave us too much information too soon to be perfectly honest. I feel like there needed to be a bigger element of surprise. Not that it was completely predictable. I didn't work out for example how it would end or what direction it would take and I don't want to say too much about the information that it did give us because I don't want to spoil it and I do recommend it if you like this kind of film but I feel like it did give, deliver too much too soon but you know I enjoyed it I was invested in it there were certain characters that I thought um, were brilliant um, Betty Compson's character was fantastic brilliantly performed I don't want to say too much about her character or even what her character's name is because she's definitely quite an enigmatic character and I really enjoyed what she brought to it. Lugosi was fantastic, of course, as Kessler. I also particularly liked Clarence Muse, who plays Evans. Uh, Evans is one of the servants in the home, and... or the butler, rather. And I think he has some brilliant lines. Um, I wouldn't say that this is a funny film, but there are certainly some elements of dry humour from the delivery of some of his lines that keep things, well, quite light. As is the case with a lot of classic horror films, they're not always that scary. Sometimes they can be gripping, but usually they have some comedy injected into them. Whether or not that's intentional or it's just the way humour has changed over the years, I don't know. This was, of course... 80, 80-something 80 years ago. I liked it well enough. I liked it well enough to keep watching it. I was relatively invested in finding out how it would, would conclude and how it would resolve itself. It's not a brilliant film. It's not the best Bela Lugosi film. It's certainly not the best horror from around the 40s. However, if you like this kind of film and it seems like it's something you would enjoy, I would recommend Invisible Ghost. It's definitely... There are things about it that are enjoyable. It may not be perfect, but it's still good enough. 